Okay then, well, <laughs> this is another little lore video for me. I know it's April the 1st. There have been some hoaxes and some real things. My favourite hoax has been that the AXI, the Anti-Xeno Initiative, has renamed themselves the Thargoid Conservation Society. And they had an announcement in their Discord today saying that the Coal 70 system, a permit-locked system where we believe the Thargoids to have come from, is now open for business and open for exploration. Well, this is a brilliant April Fool's joke. It's a nice one, AXI. That gave me a good laugh. Um, some of you who've looked at the law before or who've been long-time players may be aware of the Canon megaship, the Gnosis, which was going to jump into the Coal 70 system. But um, then FDEV intervened. It's a permit lock system, so realistically they were probably never going to be allowed to jump in there anyway. But that mega ship got attacked by Thargoids and there was a... Some of the players loved it, some of the players are very salty about it. Um, but it was a big event and you can look back in the lore and, and find out all about that if you want to. So yeah, nice little joke on behalf of the AXI. That was very funny, gave me a good laugh today. Um... Another message has popped up for those of you who've been following the Salvation narrative and it came up today. So if you've done anything to help out Salvation, you would have got this message today from Kamark, from Commodore Morag Halloran, the military representative of Salvation's forces. Now you might remember that in a previous video and in a previous Galnet article, I said that um, the Federation, the Empire and the Alliance can now second naval personnel to go and help out Salvation if they want to, without them having to give up their original commissions. So it does seem like the superpowers are at least tacitly, if not overtly, throwing their weight behind Salvation as the best solution to the Thargoid problem now that Aegis is sadly no more. So this is a message that you get. Commander, this is Commodore Morag Halloran. As you may be aware, I coordinate Salvation's anti-Xeno operations at his request. I have an opportunity for you, as a historic supporter of Salvation's work, to further his ultimate aim of final victory over the Thargoids. Taurus Mining Ventures is currently running a much-publicised mining initiative in the system there, that you know where the mining initiative is going on, that's the one that's announced in Community Goals. In truth, we require you to transport as many Guardian relics as possible to the Mishashi megaship in the HIP 39768 system. Salvation is offering an extremely generous payout for relics sold to the Mishashi. The opportunity is open until April the 7th. The Mishashi must depart on this date before Thargoids take notice of its cargo. It is vital that you complete your deliveries by then. We cannot offer the same increased rate for Guardian Relics afterwards without drawing unwanted attention. I trust that we can rely on your aid and discretion. Halloran out. So, is the whole mining thing a smokescreen? Have they really found some weird radiation signals there? Or is it just a massive distraction while this CG, which is a secret CG and which won't show up unless... You've done something for Salvation before to carry on where he wants yet more Guardian artifacts, presumably to power his super weapons and uh, take on the Thargoids once again. Now, it could be that the mining, it, the mining operation is real and it could be that they really have found some radiation, weird radiation signatures in that system. And even if it is a fake... The rewards are pretty good, you've got some new paint jobs on offer, you know, you've got a bit of money, it's a bit of fun. But are we all taking part in a massive deception while this undercover gathering of Guardian artefacts goes on? I guess time will tell. Now something that came up in Galnet News, uh, the Galnet News Digest videos and also in Burpit's video as well today is that... There appears to have been a change of Thargoid tactics. And rather than attacking stations as they normally do, and building up massive presences in various systems as they normally do, 
what's happened this time is a little bit different and they might be attacking new mega ships and there it is a mega ship that was high predicted and attacked by Thargoids in the Nauni system so I've got my man on board Mintaka 5 he's crewed into my ASP Explorer and we're going to shoot over to Nauni and take a look at this because apparently there's some logs to read so hello let's, there let's take off Speed and get a carrier far behind you. Barnard's loop there. It's so weird having that, that thing over my... I'm so used to being able to see up above me. <laughs> Just see in your floor now. If I can get the map to behave itself. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's only three jumps for Cleo, so. And you're clear. Take care out right there, Commander. <laughs> so, yeah, this is all very strange. I mean, does this represent a change in tactics? I mean, there's been some speculation that what's going on is that the Thargoids have cottoned on to the fact that there are these mega ships run by Salvation which are gathering materials to use against them. And was this attack on the megaship part of that? Did they attack it thinking it was one of Salvation's megaships? Is it one of Salvation's megaships and one that he hasn't told us about? Still it could be. Scooping. He's generally quite a secretive chap, so it's a possibility. But whatever the case, this ship, by all accounts, this mega ship, by all accounts, was transporting some kind of artifact and the Thargoids attacked it. So, on the Burr Pit and on the Galnet News Digest, they both speculated that the Thargoids may be chasing around mega ships and have slightly switched their targets a bit. And they're chasing around mega ships that may be carrying materials which could be used against them. So, uh, pardon my ignorance. So, what's a give me like a brief rundown of Salvation's background because I'm not familiar with what their mission is, basically. Okay, well, Salvation turned up about a year ago, almost exactly a year ago, actually, in April last year. And it's all very mysterious. He said, Hello, I'm Salvation, I'm a man of science. And basically, Aegis isn't going to help you with the Thargoid problem, only I can. And he sent us on a few um, trips now to find various things, including the ancient Thargoid and Guardian battle site. And since then, he's been using Guardian artifacts to create a super weapon that is able to take uh. out whole systems of Thargoids at once, like defeat and incursion systems. in one go, yeah. He fired off his super weapon in a few different systems now, and in every system where it's been used, it's cleared the Thargoid presence, cleared the conflict zones, and you can find like dead Thargoids all over the planets everywhere. Um, it just like, so, it just wipes out a whole system full of Thargoids at once. So we were talking about the radiation ones, right? Mm. ties into that a little bit how i said like anything that could cover that much any radiation that could cover that much distance in a system would have yeah. to be a weapon that would create be catastrophic at a uh, solar system Fuel level right scooping. right and Fuel so scooping. it could be that it's not a hoax at all this whole mining thing and they really have found some strange guardian radiation that's perfectly possible you mm. know that that could have happened yeah. um because, as you say, a system-wide radiation surge, you know, being detected like that, it has to be something of a lot of power. Massive. Yeah. yeah. It would have to be something of a lot of power. So perhaps it is true and there is something to this. Well, I mean, I look at it this way. We're always getting pummeled by radiation from the sun, right? But that's not life-threatening to us due to the atmosphere and all that stuff and the magnetosphere. But it only... You know, it's barely detectable among all the other elements inside our solar system. Sure. But now we're picking up a different type of element on asteroids 
around planet systems. So to be able to do that over that spread of, of distance or that amount of distance would, yeah, would lead me to believe that something exploded and the residual, you know, the gunpowder <laughs> laid where be. it did. It, it could be. You know, that could yeah. be true. I mean, I don't know how much we can actually science it because it's a story. Um, so I don't know how much of actual physics, you know, for those with that knowledge that we can bring into this. I'm not mm. completely sure about that. But I mean, yes, you know, you would expect residual radiation to generally be the result of some explosion like our own sun's radiation obscures our ability to pick up background radiation from the big bang or nearby exploding nebula or whatever and we generally have to get further out in space before we can detect that kind of thing properly right um, and the researchers that picked it up it stood out ab above every you know just the sun's radiation that's covering the entire system anyway so right, it, it stood yes. out above you know it was they they spotted it basically and <laughs> so who so knows it could all that. be connected it could um like so what appears to be a massive smoke screen on the part of tourist mining ventures this whole mining thing appears to be a big cover-up to uh hide the fact that this cg which was released in secret today and only to the people who have been involved in salvation stuff before to go and collect cool. some more guardian artifacts for him yeah, it's a nice bit of sleight of hand, isn't it? It's neat that, you know, if you participated, it's like a next step, you mm. know, to the, to the storyline. And that's, I mean, I know you and I have talked about questing, and that, that kind of hints of questing or flirts with it, but it really isn't. I mean, the other players don't have a choice because it's, the salvation quests have already been done. The salvation yeah, yeah. CGs have been done, so... It's not like they can just go pick it up whenever they want. I don't know but if yeah, they can or it not. It is neat. That's one thing I haven't checked. I mean, if you haven't been involved in Salvation stuff before, I don't know if you can just pop over to the Mishashi Mega Ship and pick up the community goal from there. I might actually try doing that on my main account, which hasn't been involved in a lot of the Salvation stuff, or at least not recently, and which didn't get this message. So, you know, this is why I'm yeah. on my second account now, which did get this message. Um, but one thing I might do just to check it out and to eliminate that possibility and for my own sort of sense of completeness is I might go into my first account at some point later today and um, just pop over to the Mishashi Maker Ship in the Asp Explorer or something, just something that can jump over there quickly and see if I can still pick up that community goal on my first account as well. And if I do, then um, if that is possible, then I'll put on this video that it's not necessary to... Um, have done anything for salvation before to take part in this and by taking mm -hmm. part in this you are now probably clued into the salvation narrative and if anything develops from it you'll probably get more messages as a result of doing this but we'll check that out in the meantime what we're looking here for is a mega ship I've been interdicted by the system defense force submit to this navy inspection fine Fly around me, scan me. Scan detected. There we go. <laughs> the authorities are on form. We're done here. Oh, thanks for that. Yeah. Traffic cops, <laughs> eh? Traffic cops. Yeah. What can I say? Right. Oh, there you go. filter out the mega ships because I mean the fleet <coughs> the filter out the fleet carriers because oh, there we go right oh, yeah. the, the Gordon <laughs> class there it is I think this is the one the Gordon class bulk cargo ship HDI 385 474 light seconds away oh it's been involved in an altercation with Dino Force. it definitely has um, you can tell that because it's a different color on the nav map anyway, but this has absolutely been attacked by Thargoids, so I'm expecting to find it um, surrounded in a big green cloud of gas, but apparently, according to the Galnet News Digest and the Burr Pit, there are some logs to read here, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go there and we're oh. going to read them. Look forward to that. 
and try and see what happened. But yeah, does this represent a shift in the Thargoid tactics that now, instead of burning stations, they've suddenly realised that this guy's salvation is the main threat and they're going after mega ships. Perhaps this the wrong be... mega ships. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this wouldn't be the first one. I've seen one attacked before. Oh yeah, there uh, are a few previous... mega ships that have been th attacked by Thargoids before, and you can normally get little missions at them to either repair hull breaches or to uh, break open escape hatches so that the escape yeah. pods inside can be picked up by the NPC rescue ships, who are hopeless at picking up rescue pods, by the way. They take forever to do it. <laughs> but yeah, and you don't get very much for them, but they're nice little, you know, distractions if you want to go do them. I've got a very old video where I'm repairing some hull breaches, and one thing which uh, it does show is a new use for the repair limpet, and you see the repair limpet oh, actually, yeah. actually spraying foam onto the hull breaches, which is really cool. I've never seen a repair limpet do that before. Right, because you're usually getting repaired, so you can't see it unless you go yeah, to camera even mode. Yeah, but even if you go into camera mode, you just see the repair limpet attach itself to the ship. And the whole val uh, and the whole value go back up, yeah. But this actually um, hovers above the whole breach on the mega ship and sprays some kind of foam onto it to seal the breach. Oh, that's cool. It's very cool, and um, yeah, I, I may actually link in this video to uh, that video, so that people who so might, might be sitting there thinking, "What the hell are you on about, Phil?" Um, well, I'll put, a, I'll, put, I'll put a link so you can see what I'm on about. It's very cool to watch. All right. So we're coming Ooh, into the rings. Gordon class. It's a nice looking place. Um, They're juicy looking rings too. Yeah. I have to scan those for some uh, minerals. Well, I can whack the ring while I'm here. There you go. There you go. And there's two rings, so... Surface scan complete. What do we got? Because this is my Explorer build, it's got a detailed surface, surface scanner. Scan one of the mega deep... One of the mega ones that gives you the extra radius, yeah? Yeah, yeah there's, a, there's a few hot spots here. One of them is near a resource extraction site, a hazardous resource extraction site which uh, suggests, oh, there you go, there's a low temperature diamonds hot spot there. That's near a resource site as well. Normally when they're near resource sites, if I remember rightly, you get slightly higher yields as well. Huh. That's good to know. Yeah. But that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for... A wrecked ship. We're looking for this, this thing here. This is what we're looking for. The Gordon class bulk cargo ship. Ooh, the rubber banding is fun. <laughs> Whoa, I don't think I've ever seen a ship like this before. The cargo ship. Yeah. yeah. Man, imagine if we could pillage all that. <laughs> so, yeah. There you oh, go. they got wrecked. It's in These a cloud ships. of green gas. You've got your corrosion damage here. If you go look at this, there you go. You've got your yeah. usual... <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's your Thargoid corrosive damage. And if we look in mm. contacts... There you go, there's a ship log up link. And that's what we're looking for. And there it is. Hit it with a data link scanner. And we got a message, a communications log. 
The item we found from that wreck has been pointing us in the same direction for countless jumps now. It must be taking us somewhere quite significant. Hyperspace conduit unstable, systems offline. Captain, we've been approached by a vessel of unknown origin. It appears to be scanning the ship. How do we proceed? It seems that wherever we've been headed, we're not welcome. Let it finish its scan and turn back. Wait, it's opening fire and the systems aren't back online yet. We're sitting ducks. Oh dear. So, yeah. yeah. The item we found from that wreck. What wreck? Will we find out more about that? Let's hope we do. Let's find out if we can. Um, I mean, it's going to be a wild goose chase trying to find it manually, so let's hope we find some more information. This ship visited a wreck, picked up something from it, and the Thargoids were not happy about it. And attacked them. And then the rest of it is the usual hull breaches. Yeah, not much else to scan on this ship. So yeah, they would, they definitely found something. Now was it... Was this ship working on behalf of Salvation? Possibly not. They possibly just found something, you know, in the course of their day and thought, oh, this might be interesting. We'll pick it up. And perhaps they were going to take it to Salvation. Perhaps they were going to take it to Taurus Mining Ventures and say, hey, you know, um, we found this. Is this anything to do with what you're looking into? Is this anything to do with your research? Um, but before they could get there, they were high predicted. And look at that, yeah, they've been trashed. Thargoids have done a number on them. That's a good shot right there. The sun behind it. Or two suns. Woo, look at that, it's a good view. Some screenshot opportunities there. Yeah. Look at that. So it looks like that's all there is to see on that one. But interesting nonetheless, you know. Are people right that this represents a shift in Thargoid tactics and now rather than attacking stations, which they know that we're going to beat them in the AX conflict zones unless they're really, really heavy ones and we've never had one that's so overwhelming that we haven't um, been able to fight it off. But, well, they've come close at times. I remember, um, you know, way back in January a few years ago when we'd had that five-month break and then the Thargoids attacked again, that the AXI guys were saying that they were the heaviest incursions ever and it felt like they were throwing everything at you to see what you could take. And since then, we've had some even heavier incursions and at one point, we had uh, 24 stations on fire, which was just unreal. Um, so they could very easily throw more at us than we could possibly cope with. Very easily. But that was done, I think, to um, introduce that uh, Salvation super weapon because he deployed them in, in three systems, wiped out all the Thargoids there, wiped out all the AX conflict zones in there in one stroke. And then they just retreated from all the stations that they'd been attacking and all those stations went into repair. So, you know, that was obviously brought in to further that part of the narrative. <coughs> so, yeah, there's not a lot to see, but there is that log to read. And these are always interesting, these ships. I mean, again, yeah. you know, the detail that they put into these, I love that. But the more you look at these and the more you fly around them, the more details you see you know mm -hmm. so they are worth you know lingering around and just flying about and admiring the artwork and the detail and the lovely little touches that they put on these things you know they mm -hmm. really really do a good job of them and I think when you're just kind of uh flying around right i'll go and look at this i'll go and look at that i'll go and unlock this i'll go and unlock that you know you don't take much time out to appreciate i like just, that they put the effort into breaking that one tip off there yeah know? little things like, like that you know the, oh. 
Oop, just bumped into something there. Never mind. A little tight spot. <laughs> yeah, just a little tight spot there. There you go. There's a brewer. Yeah, cool. There's a brewer corporation who make mega ships. Yeah. Manticore. Who make the weapons? I wonder if any of these containers uh, would have the stuff that they're looking for, like why they were attacked. Well, this is a question, and it doesn't say, does it? But, I mean, did the... Oh, here we go. We got a Thargoid. Whoa. Now, he probably won't attack unless I attack him. Well, there he is. So Thargoids are popping in, and they do this at these mega ships. Whoa, he's just <laughs> shut down my ship. <laughs> the ECM, electronic countermeasures. Yeah, the Thargoid ECM, I just got whacked with it. Oh, he's coming in to suck your brains out. Oh. Scary. Whoa, what is that? He's scoop something out the back. And he's oh. decided that I'm not a threat, but nevertheless, he shut me down and scanned me. I like the Cthulhu so tentacle scan. <laughs> He's like, this is my... Get away. Well, let's go and have a look at him. Oh, is he feeding off of it? What is he doing? I've seen him do this before. Oh. Yeah, look at that. He's still firing at the ship. Or something over there, right? Oh. Like, He's firing at the that, power. Uh, He's firing at the power, power? capacitor. Yeah. Uh, of course, I don't have a, that, uh... I don't have a Xeno scanner, so I can't see what type the what type he is. I suppose I should have thought of that. But he will not attack me unless I attack him. Or ram into him or something like that. Is he trying to get energy from the power sources? I have no idea what he's doing, but I have seen him do this before. So this seems to be a standard animation that they do on these things, where you would normally on these ships, like I say, you would get this... Uh, you get a little mission to either free escape pods or seal the hull breaches. Um, and a Thargoid will turn up every now and again and start firing at the ship for, for no apparent reason because it's dead in space anyway. It's clearly not going anywhere. Yeah. But they just seem to turn up and like trash it a bit more just for the, just for the look of the thing, I suppose. But um, <laughs> Yeah, just freshen it up a little bit. Nice big engines on that thing, jeez. Yeah, well, considering the size of it, I guess. Yeah, so he's probably going to fly around that, whack it for a bit, and then he may just uh, he may just wake out. But yeah, definitely seen that before. If you go to, there's a few mega ships. There's one in Delphi, I believe. There's another one in um, Felicity Farseer's system, and you'll get <clears throat> and you will get this little mission to go and uh, seal hole breaches. If you want. Right. Yeah, I haven't I haven't received that. No. Normally pops up here. But yeah, I'm not gonna upset him. Not in my <laughs> not in my Better not. not in my not little with me on board. <laughs> Well, you're alright, you're in telepresence, you're not really here. Oh. Okay. Well but, in that case. But I'm still not going to go and upset him anyway, because I'm in an explorer ship. I'm not in a Thargoid fighting ship. I don't have a Thargoid fighting ship because I don't fight them. I'm still not altogether convinced that they're the bad guys, you know? I mean... Yeah. 
I'm pretty sure we fired on them first, you know? Yeah, typical. It's the kind of yeah. thing we do. It's it's totally the kind of thing that we do, isn't it? Oh, look, mm. there's something we don't understand. Let's shoot it. Shoot I mean, it first. Ask questions later. Yeah, that's the human nature for you. Doesn't seem to have changed much, even in the 34th century. Uh, yeah. We haven't come that far from the lynch mob, really, when you think about it. That's a nice little shot with... Uh, ringed planet there and the Thargoid there but yeah he's just gonna fly around that shooting at it for a while and then probably disappear and come back and if you had an AX ship you could fight him and kill him for the reward and if this wasn't a special case um, you would get the usual little mission to either seal the hull breaches or uh, release escape pods but yeah, one cargo ship. Already trashed, and occasionally still being picked on. Alright, Mushashi. So here I am at the Mushashi. The other. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming in behind mining. you right now. There you go, the other tourist mining mega ship. And if I go to the community goal. Yes, you can. Sweet. Yeah, you can you can join the appeal for Guardian Artifacts. You don't have to get the message from Salvation first. So I can sign up for this if I want to. So, yeah, why not? I will sign up for it. Rather than drag my second account all the way out here. Well, it'll be something to do in between the mining stuff. I get yeah, bored with that. yeah. Split, split some time. Split some time between them. Yeah, I've dropped down to the top 25%. Oh, yeah, it's a cool-looking from... planet. There were 414 contributors to the mining CG last night when I logged off, and there are now 919, so it is picking mm. up a little bit. Yeah, I'm sure it'll pick up this weekend. But, yeah, for any of you watching who are wondering, oh, can I still get involved in the Guardian Artifacts CG, even though I didn't get the message from Salvation, the answer is yes, you can. Mm. because this account didn't get the message and yet I've just signed up for it and they're only 56 light years apart the two mega ships so if you want to split you know, your time between a bit of mining and a bit of guardian artifact collecting then knock yourselves out and have fun with it <laughs> I'm not even that bummed that it's exclusive because you know it's just another thing to add to the an, an opposite to add to the CG because most CGs have a counterpart right yeah, yeah. It's just an interesting little twist to the story where, you know, obviously the whole mining thing is a smokescreen for this secret CG, but it's not so secret that you can't take part if you didn't get the message from Salvation. So for anyone out here who wants to take part in both CGs, you can. It's not going to be an issue. Oh, I'm on 14G. I need to be on 14F. Yeah, it's on the sunny side. Oh, that's handy. Hate when it's on the dark side. Yeah, not that it matters for this, but yeah. A fourteen F. Now, yeah, I think I'm gonna see if I can jump my carrier over here. Oh, cool! I'll use it. Yeah, before it gets too crowded. Ah, uh, okay. I can jump it to the next one, so. There you go. I couldn't jump it to uh, F, so I've jumped it to G. You don't actually have to change. Uh, so whatever ship you're using for mining, you could also use it for collecting these artifacts as well. Okay. You're going you're to lose a lot of collectors and they're going to die, but you can basically hover right. above the planet. Um, as compared to losing all my limpets and dead rocks and asteroid belts? Right, or exactly. So it's rings. no great loss, right? Yeah... So, there, now. And that's how you do it. I see, yeah, so you're just letting them do whatever. Yeah. You're sitting up there. I'll come back, I'll come back with my uh, cutter and do it. Yeah. You're going to lose a lot of limpets, but you'll also... Save time. Just, you know, you will, you will gather. 
you will gather some uh, artifacts and stuff. I've got a tablet and an orb Collection so far. Expired. I'm jumping my carrier over so that I can go and store some on my carrier and come back because it's uh, 7,000 light Programming seconds to the Mishashi drum. from this planet. So if you have a carrier, it's a no-brainer to just... Um, Put it right here, yeah. Store them on the carrier until you're ready to deliver in bulk. You have to, uh, you might have to like play around with uh, positioning your ship in order to maximize. Programming limpet drone. And a lot of limpets are going to die, but you will definitely pick things up quicker doing it this way. So play about a bit with positioning your ship. Expired. This is where you just need a big ship like a cutter or a T9 where you can just stick 500 limpets in and if 300 of them die and you pick up 150 then Collect so be it. And you, can right. and you can re-log to the menu and log back in in oh, solo good. and just keep doing this. Yeah, they'll respawn if you do that and you can just keep Collect doing this limpet. until Expired. you lose the will to live. And, <laughs> and then go and hand them in. So yeah, there you go. That's how to do that. Have fun mining, collecting guardian artifacts, and wondering where the story is going next. Oh, just right <laughs> off the side of my... Wow, that was a cool jump. <laughs>